In social citizenship rights, inequality and exclusion, uh, what I've tried to do is to look at the situation of Palestinian refugees in Jordan uh, in, con in comparison to the rest of the population and how do they fit in terms of inequality um, and exclusion. And the main concept that is highlighted throughout the, the thesis is this, this social exclusion concept, which, is, which differs from the concepts of deprivation or poverty in that we are focusing really on the process. Um, the process of becoming poor or the process of becoming marginalized or the process of becoming uh, deprived or excluded. And this, not just that it is a process, but it's also a, a multi-dimensional phenomenon. Uh, this is where actually the capability approach comes in, in that it enables us through the, the, the advancement that has taken place in the capability approach to, to use m different techniques, different methodological techniques to be able to measure uh, the situation based on real data and not just theoretical um, conceptualizations. And what the study has found and what, 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 what the results have shown is that the social exclusion, this process actually begins at the moment a new group enters in a society, in the case of the Palestinian refugees, the moment they enter into Jordan. So for example, if we contrast between um, refugees who are granted nationality versus those who were not, due to whatever you know political reason, which is really not the purpose of what we are looking at, we find that this definitely makes a difference. Additionally, the socioeconomic attributes of the group. So, so we know that those who ended up residing in camps um, until today are not included in the society, whereas those who didn't uh, have become a very vital and important part of the society um, from the economic uh, perspective. So the idea is just to give us, an, give us a, a direction, give us a much more uh, in-depth explanation of the situation at hand using theories, using methodologies that, are, that have existed for a long time in a you know, Western context and try to apply it into uh, a non-Western context, such as the case of Jordan, and to try to understand, okay, so what next? And I am hoping that, that with the insight of this thesis that we can sort of sit and think, okay, this is the situation of, at hand, what can we do next? What is the policy that is needed to take us to the next level in terms of um, uh, achieving or arriving at more social cohesion in the society? The work is, is very relevant to the, the, the bulk of the work that we do here at the Master's Graduate School of Governance at the UNU Merit, initially in that it is uh, evidence-based. So we, you are using, we are using data to, 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 to show uh, the implications of the theoretical framework that is being put in place. And additionally, we are really pushing for this whole policy element um, that the point of this research, the point of doing this kind of work is not just to produce these tables and these results, but rather as a, um, a tool that can be used in reality by policymakers in order to, um, you know, shed the light on different socio or, or social uh, issues that can be dealt with uh, much more structurally and systematically using uh, information or using um, uh, data that ha that has been analyzed and uh, presented in, in, in a much, in a very um, neutral uh, setting.